Excel Magic Trick number 226. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. You can download the workbook 221 to 229. Hey, in this trick, we want to see something simple. We have some data here, columns of weeks, and at the bottom, we've added them up. Now, sometimes in formulas, instead of seeing ranges like this, you want to see a named range. Well, if we already created a spreadsheet and we don't want to go through and recreate all these formulas and we want to insert a name, there's a way to do that. But first, we've already created this and we're like, hey, let's name this range. So we'll highlight the headers and all the way down, not the totals, just the data. And now we'll use create name from selection. The keyboard shortcut is Control Shift F3. You can get to that in earlier versions from the Insert Names menu, or in this uh, version, you can go to Formulas, Define Names, uh, Define Names, Using Formula, something similar. Oh, there it is, Create from Selection. See? I'm so I'm going to Control Shift F3, top row. Now, I don't want to go through and edit each one of these. So you can simply highlight, and because that range right now has a name, when we highlight all of these, each one of these has a range and it has a name now, we can simply go up to Formulas, uh, Define Names, and Apply Names. In 2003, you go to Insert Names, Apply. Boop. And it's, it's guessing from all the names that these are the ones because it's looking at the ranges there. Just click OK. So now it has week one, week two, week three. So that is apply name. And the purpose is, after you've created your formulas and you want to insert names and replace cell ranges. All right, we'll see you next trick.